I want in this video try to explain the cover of this book, The Cauldron of Fear. It is the ninth book in the Lone Wolf solo adventure series, the Beaver edition from 1987, created by Joe Deaver. The fantastic art is from an artist called Fred Gabino. Before we dive deep into this image, I wanted to go back one year to year MS 5060 and see what events happened before we reached this image of the battle between the good and evil. Dark Lord Gnog raising huge armies to conquer Magnamund. Forces riding under the banner of Ogia attack, capture and raise the northern Telestrian town of Lucos. Darklands allies Vasagonia invades Cassiorn and Cloacia. Darkland armies invade Delden and Lyris. Darkland armies invades the southern province of Summerland, Ruanon. Darklands invades Saloni and northern Slovia. Dark Lord Gnog and Sakan Kima's armies are marching toward the capital of Anari, Tau. The armies are closing in on the city of Tau, and the battle begins. If we look at the original foot on the left, it looks like the good side are holding their weapon with the right hand, so they are right-handed, and the evil forces with their left hand, so they look like they are left-handed. When we look at the actual print on the book, it seems they have mirrored the photo, so the good are on the left side, and now they look like they are left-handed, and the evil forces right-handed, which they weren't in the original photo. Let's dig into this image and see who is this skeleton with the red robes. When Jude Deaver wanted this image, he gave the description Leaders should be skeletal monks dressed in red robes, on black horses and armed with staffs of black iron that shoot blue fire from their tips. With this description, we can be sure that what he's meaning is a war deck. Wardax are undead lieutenants of the Dark Lords. They generally wear red robes, which fits good in this case. If we look at the evil army, we can see that the description Joe Deaver gave was some evil human knights, black spiky armor. He's probably referring to Drakarim, even though these evil creatures doesn't really look like Drakarim. Then he mentioned some Orgrons, giant goblins with blue skin. I think I've done the typo here, it should be Ogrons. And they have blue skin. Then he mentioned, banner should be crimson and black, bearing the white skull of a snake with blooded fangs. That's the banner of Dark Lord Gnog. Unfortunately, we don't see that on this picture. If we look at the good armies, this really confuses me because in Jude Deaver's uh, notes, it says that the uniform color is dark blue and their emblem should be a golden eagle with their claws clutching a red heart. Nowhere can I find that the color of blue is connected to Anari or Tau, or even their flag match that. The only flag who have an eagle with red hearts is the flag of uh, Anskaven in uh, Summerland which obviously aren't soldiers from Summerlund down here, especially not since Ruanon had been invaded and Summerlund need all their soldiers to protect there. I can think of two different explanations. The first one comes from Richard Penwarden, who point out that Anari actually have 70% of their army standing by Slovian mercenaries, so it's a big chance that these soldiers actually are Slovian mercenaries and that the emblem with the eagle and the heart comes from there. The second explanation comes from Marcus Tan. In the last section of Book 9, the three allies of Anari come to rescue and one of these three allies actually have the uniform blue. So it could be either Firalond, Lorden or Kakus. And it's difficult to know which one. If they come in the same order as the text, 
blue, white, gray, Feralond, Lord and Kakus, then it should be Feralond. As Marcus also pointed out, Kakus is the only Vasa nation among the three allies that came to Anaris aid, and Eagle seems to be a common symbol there. Also, the helmets are very pointy with a tip, which is also a typical Vasa attribute. Probably these soldiers are either Slovenian mercenaries, or from Firalond, or from Kakus. Hopefully we know a bit more about this image now. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching.